With elections coming up, there's been a lot of talk about race relations, discrimination, and diverse populations. Here in Los Angeles, the Latino population keeps on growing. And tomorrow, 200 prominent leaders, including Mayor Eric Garcetti, will gather to brainstorm and identify ways to increase opportunities for Latino Americans. And joining us now is Monica Lozano, who's chair of the Aspen Institute Latinos and Society Program. Thank you so much for joining us, Monica. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you. What is the Aspen Institute, first off? So the Aspen Institute is the premier institute based in Washington, D.C. It's committed to education and public policy, and it advances issues and the understanding of issues in a very nonpartisan, uh, neutral format. A very exciting day tomorrow, the summit. Tell me about the summit and what sort of things get discussed and what happens tomorrow. So in 2015, the Aspen Institute started the Latinos in Society program. And this program is dedicated to advancing understanding of the role that Latinos will play in America's future and the fact that we are absolutely and undeniably linked in terms of America's future and the Latino population. So tomorrow, LA will host over 200 Hispanic uh, leaders mm -hmm. and others, prominent individuals from all across the country. And we're going to tackle head on the big issues that dominate the headlines today. The issue of inequality, of race relations, of opportunity, of inclusion. How is it that a country that is so dynamic, so diverse, really create and advance opportunities for all members of its population? And you mentioned that some other popular people are going to be there, like Eric Garcetti. Correct. Um, how does, what's his role and how has he helped you out? So what's really interesting is that as part of tomorrow's summit, we're actually going to unveil some research that was conducted by the Nielsen Institute. So Nielsen interviewed over 4,000 individuals across the United States and asked not what is the number one issue that is important to you, but what is most important for advancing opportunity. Okay. The number one issue was holding elected officials accountable mm. for the decisions that they make. And so here we have a mayor like Eric Garcetti who leads the most diverse city in America and he's going to talk to us about the things that he's done to unlock potential for all communities. Certainly is very involved. Talk about some of the challenges that Latinos face, the ones that stand out. So some of the biggest challenges, of course, is you have a very dynamic population. It is the fastest growing population in America. And yet we need to make sure that we're able to participate in the great benefits of this country. That means as we become more and more a knowledge-based economy, we're getting our kids through high school, into college, yeah. graduating from college. STEM is always important. So tomorrow we're going to have some people who are talking about social entrepreneurship, not just starting businesses, but how do you actually actually make business work for society. So you actually have business leaders there to help and mentor people? We have people who are coming that are CEOs of major corporations to small startup entrepreneurs who right. will be talking about what it means to unlock potential. Sounds very exciting. Well, we're going to keep an eye on that <laughs> and get, maybe get more information from you after the summit tomorrow and see what you learn and that sort of thing. Monica Lozano, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. Appreciate that. All right, Colleen, back to you. All right, Ellen, thank you. And